Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Campari today. I'm working from home. It's PJ day, so I'm in my jammies. I hope you are too. Um, I have a special guest with me here today. This is my dog, Charlie. Charlie is about eight years old. We got her about four years ago. We got her from Paws, so she's a shelter dog. Um, I'm not a dog person at all. Um, but I am a Charlie person. I really love my Charlie. So today is Friday, March 20th. It's not a color day because today was supposed to be our all school family assembly. And I'll share some links with you a little bit later about the videos that we would have seen today together and about some breathing we would have done together. And then we'll end with our school family song all together as well. Um, since it's not a color day, there aren't any specials, but if you would like to choose an activity from your favorite special, PE, music, library, art, choose something and have some fun. For birthdays, we have none today actually, but we do have some this weekend. Happy birthday to Emmett Yabora, May Litterbowski, Philip Pedarov, and Margaret Nelson. Happy birthday, boys and girls. Don't forget when we get back to school you'll come down to the office and get your birthday book got a bunch of shout outs today as well i want to give a special shout out to the boys and girls in miss bridges ece classroom you guys are rocking it from home keep up the great work uh jaden you sent a picture of your rocks that you made to miss bridget they're beautiful so sparkly i love them can't wait to see them in our rock um garden our kindness garden Valen, I heard you lost a tooth. Congratulations. Put it under your pillow, and I'm sure the tooth fairy will come for a visit. Henry and Julia, I miss you both. There are no tears, Henry. Smile. You got this. You can do it. So for, today, so for, did, so for today's story, I'm going to read you a favorite book of mine, Harry the Dirty Dog. It was one of my stepson Lucas's favorite books when he was little. And he's 26 years old now. It's an oldie, but a goodie. This book was written in 1956. I wasn't even born yet. Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Z Zion and pictures are by Margaret Bloy Graham. Ready, Charlie? Harry the Dirty Dog. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. Charlie hates baths too. One day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. And then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. 
One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped. He flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook his head and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly towards the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to the corner of the garden and he started to dig furiously. Soon, he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran up into the house. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with a scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl. And her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he had ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. The end. Charlie, I think you might need a bath too. You smell. All right, today's challenge. Draw a picture of a pet or a pet you'd like and hang it in your window and share it with all your family and friends that are walking down the street. Don't forget, you can tweet it out and use the hashtag, hashtag D61learns, and then we can share it all around and everyone can see what we're doing at home. Um, a couple reminders. Breakfast and lunch are served at Eisenhower every day between 8.30 and 11. So make sure you stop by and pick up your breakfast and lunch. That's for all families. The office is closed. Uh, everyone's working from home. Myself, our secretary is a nurse. Everyone is available to you, but they are working virtually. Um, we will be checking our emails and voicemails and we'll get uh, and we'll return that all to you. So don't forget you can email and still leave us voicemails. There is a self-service set of tubs that are left outside the school office. If you haven't picked up a hard copy of a packet that you need, they're the same packets that are available online, but we did print them out for you for your convenience. There are uh, tubs with school supplies, pencils and glue sticks or glue and crayons at school as well in a tub that are labeled supplies. And if you need additional snacks for your family, those are outside in tubs as well. They're all outside the school office. Help yourself. Um, don't forget to reach out to your classroom teachers through Seesaw. Remind, email any way possible. They want to hear from you. They're there to help you. Monday is a no school day for students. So I will not see you until Tuesday morning. Teachers will be working on their lessons on Monday so that they have things for you for the rest of the week. Uh, oh, 
something fun to look forward to next week. We do have an all district spirit week. So on Tuesday, it's going to be a spirit day. Wear your school spirit wear or your school colors are red, black, and gray. Wednesday is hat and sunglasses day. So pull out your coolest shades and join us online. Thursday is stuffed animal day. Bring a stuffed animal, snuggle up with them and enjoy a day of e-learning. And Friday is Jersey Day. Wear your favorite jersey, any sport team, even ones that you might be on at home um, for soccer or baseball or volleyball or anything like that. Enjoy your day of jerseys on Friday. Um, today, we will end with our school family song. Um, again, I will share you with you some kindness videos that we would have been doing Oh, and before we get to our school family song, we do want to practice our pretzel breath. We would have done that today. So your breathing is you're going to take your hands out in front of you, crisscross them, inhale in, exhale. Again, inhale in, exhale. It's good to have some deep breaths during this time, everyone. All right, let's join us all in our all school family song.